What if you woke up tomorrow and your phone's compass pointed south instead of north? It sounds like a scene from a disaster movie, but this isn't science fiction. It's a real, scientifically documented event that has happened dozens of times in our planet's history. It's called a geomagnetic reversal. And scientists say we're long overdue for another one. What would a magnetic field flip actually mean for us, for our technology, and for all life on Earth? The answers are shocking, and they might change the way you see our world forever. To understand what a flip means, we first need to know what the magnetic field actually does. Deep inside our planet, a swirling ocean of molten iron creates a powerful, invisible shield around us. This is the magnetosphere. Think of it as Earth's cosmic bodyguard. It deflects most of the charged particles streaming from the sun, known as the solar wind. Without it, these particles would strip away our atmosphere, leaving Earth a barren, lifeless rock like Mars. It also protects us from cosmic rays, high energy particles from deep space that can damage DNA. Our entire technological civilization, from power grids to GPS satellites, relies on this stable magnetic shield. But here's the unsettling part. This shield isn't permanent. It weakens, it shifts, and sometimes it completely flips. So what triggers a flip? Geologists study ancient rocks, particularly lava flows, which act like a planetary tape recorder. When volcanic rock cools, magnetic minerals inside align with the Earth's magnetic field at that moment locking in a snapshot of its direction. By studying these rocks, scientists have discovered that the magnetic poles have swapped places many times. The last full reversal happened about 780,000 years ago. The process isn't like flipping a switch. It's a slow, chaotic decline. The magnetic field as strength could drop by as much as 90% over hundreds or even thousands of years. During this time, the familiar north and south poles would disappear, replaced by multiple weaker magnetic poles scattered across the globe, a compass would be useless, pointing in random directions depending on where you stood. This period of magnetic chaos is the real danger. Let's imagine this process begins today. The first thing we'd notice is the chaos in the animal kingdom. Migratory animals like birds, sea turtles, and whales rely on the magnetic field for navigation. Without their internal compass, they'd become hopelessly lost. Entire species could face extinction as their migration routes, honed over millennia, fall apart. We might see massive strandings of whales and birds flying in confused circles, unable to find their breeding or feeding grounds. It would be an ecological catastrophe on a global scale, but the impact on humanity would be even more direct and devastating. As the magnetic shield weakens to just 10% of its current strength, the floodgates for solar and cosmic radiation would swing wide open. Our first line of defense? Our satellite network would be fried. GPS, television broadcasting, international banking, weather forecasting all would grind to a halt. Imagine a world without the internet, without instant communication. Long distance flights would become incredibly risky as airplanes flying at high altitudes would be exposed to dangerous levels of radiation and their navigation systems would fail. Down on the surface, the effects would be just as terrifying. The weakened shield would allow charged particles from the sun to penetrate deeper into our atmosphere, wreaking havoc on our power grids. A powerful solar storm, which our current field easily deflects, could induce massive electrical currents in our power lines. This would overload transformers and trigger continent-wide blackouts that could last for months or even years. We're not talking about a simple power outage. This would be the shutdown of modern civilization as we know it. No electricity means no clean water, no refrigeration, no hospitals, no manufacturing. The world will be plunged into darkness. And then there's the direct threat to our health. The increased radiation reaching the Earth's surface would significantly raise the risk of cancer for all living things. We'd have to limit our time outdoors, especially during periods of high solar activity. Astronauts on the International Space Station would be in mortal danger and would need to evacuate immediately. The beautiful auroras, the northern and southern lights would no longer be confined to the poles. We might see them at the equator, a beautiful but ominous sign that our protective shield is failing. Our planet would be fundamentally less safe. This all sounds like the end of the world, but it's important to remember that life has survived these flips before. The planet and its ecosystems have always recovered. The reversal process is slow, likely unfolding over generations, giving us time to adapt. We could develop more robust infrastructure, design radiation shielded satellites, 
and create new navigation systems. Our ingenuity is our greatest asset. A magnetic field flip isn't an extinctional level event, but a planetary scale challenge. It's a reminder that we live on a dynamic, ever-changing planet, and that our survival depends on our ability to understand it and adapt. The Earth's magnetic field is one of the most incredible and vital features of our world, an unseen force that makes life possible. The prospect of it flipping is a humbling reminder of the powerful forces that shape our existence. While it's not something that will happen overnight, it's a certainty on geologic hotel. Thinking about it pushes us to innovate and to better appreciate the fragile shield that protects us all. What do you think is the scariest part of a magnetic reversal? The technological collapse or the biological impact? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you found this journey into our planet's chaotic future as fascinating as I did, do you not forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the shocking science of our universe. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.